Okay, this morning we we're working Blue Empress Peacock. It's a uh, an aquarium strain I've been working on. Uh, we'll go over that in a minute. While I was sorting males, Susie called me over. There was a scorpion in a bucket, so she wanted me to rescue it. And this is it. I didn't want to rescue it. I wanted to get rid of it. <laughs> okay, well, rescuing it and getting rid of it are the same thing to me, so... I'm going to go let this scorpion go outside where Susie won't hurt it. Okay, after taking care of the scorpion, we completed processing this vat of fish. Uh, so we ended up with 610 little fish out of this breeding colony. It was not a really big breeding colony. We this is another breeding colony that we lost during the winter storm. And so we had to go with uh, young breeders. Uh, we aim for four to 500 fish per breeding cycle in a breeding colony. So this is a good one. This fish has a fairly long history with us. It's originated, I did a cross between, I uh, used a male Copidochromis uh, borlei with female uh, red empress, uh, uh, Protomelis tinealatus, uh, females. And I don't really remember what I was going for at the time, but I've, I've sort of evolved toward a fish, a blue fish with red fins. Uh, these are some potential breeders. First, I want to show you, this is a male that's just starting to color up. He's a big fish, but he, uh, this fish tends to get big before it colors up. Okay, we're going to go through the beauty contest and later on we'll put him in an aquarium. Okay, I like him better. See, so he has red in his fin instead of yellow. So he's going to be a potential breeder. That one's just too, too young. Enough red to look at again. No red, so I'm going to get rid of him. Kind of like his, his caudal, but he's still not what I'm looking for. That fish is too much gold in the body. I want to look at him again, although he's kind of pale. Another one that's kind of pale. And nice color. Okay, so I've got five finalists here. We'll cut this down to three and then we'll... What's the difference of those two? What do you mean? These? Yeah. Okay, this is just a young male, a couple young males that aren't colored. There's really, uh, these are going into our sale bag. Okay, let's look at this. Are these our original readers? Uh, yeah, three of these are. I'm, I like that male. Nice blue, red. He's pale. just a little too pale. How many did you have at the breeding colony? Uh, we had uh, five young, five males. They were all young. They're mature now. Uh, when I'd selected them, it was supposed to be three males and something like 30 females. Obviously, I was wrong on a couple of them, but I was selecting really small fish. Yeah, that's an interesting fish, but I think not. Okay, I want to check down again. Yeah, we'll go with those three. Okay, so. Yeah, we're going to put them in an aquarium. I'm just moving some fish around. See, for those of y'all that I'm grumpy, that was Susie being grumpy with me. Okay. I didn't hear what she just said. I don't want to. Yeah. Okay, let's put these guys up here. Okay. Let's take a look at these. See, what I'm envisioning is a nice blue fish with kind of a white uh, dorsal and a red uh, anal fin. And 
that one is nice. Okay, see this guy. One of the males I was looking at had a bad eye, but I think I need to do someplace else. Uh, a bad eye is not necessarily bad. It's usually ca caused by an injury. So I'm going to go with these three males. They're not as good as what we had before the storm, but they're getting there and they'll produce some good offspring and we'll just keep them selecting better males every breeding cycle. Okay, good fish keeping.